Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and um, in hints that we're looking here and there so we know that uh, Windows 12 is officially um, a new version of Windows even though Microsoft doesn't talk about it we have hints here and there that definitely show that next year something is going to be there Windows 12 or whatever name to give it um, how about Windows AI one of the things that has been showing up with um, the different presentations that we've seen is that AI has been the word also in every single presentation talking about the future and that includes the future of Windows. So Windows 12 actually we're starting to think could it be the first operating system of Windows to actually be using artificial intelligence and AI but also there's something interesting here that some analysts have been talking about and is the famous NPUs you know every uh, generation of PCs we've had chips pop up of new types of technologies um, you know it used to be that you had a processor a co-processor then you had a graphics processor and then you had you know TPM for security and so they're added technology over time on motherboards and on the different hardware how about the next step in the uh, computers would be an NPU, a Neural Processing Unit. What's that? That is what drives most of the artificial intelligence. It is a specific type of processor, if you want, that enhances that type of technology. And, of course, that means the CPU doesn't have to handle that. So. We're thinking, would PCs in the near future have this new chip in it, a neural processing unit? You might think, well, you know, nobody wants that, nobody needs that. But you might be wrong, as Apple has a neural processing unit in their devices. They're actually marketing the iPhones and the iPads with neural engines. They already have such a chip. Apple has jumped into that category already before everybody else. And one of the reasons is because a lot of what the AI can do will prevent the device from always having to go to servers on the internet for that type of work. Now, that also opens up a um, possibility of could Windows 12 ask for you to have an NPU on your computer in order to work. Of course, in the PC world, we don't really have PCs with neural processing units. So that is something that would be kind of tough maybe to ask even next year. But the hybrid thinking would be Windows 12 could maybe work on a standard machine but slower for certain functionalities because you don't have an NPU. But tell you, if you have an NPU, this would be much better experience and they would show maybe some feature and some new ways that Windows works that could, you know, who knows, just show us that, wow, having an NPU is really something interesting. And, uh, of course, in search of all, always also, uh, selling new hardware. You know, we haven't had any exciting developments in technology for PCs in a long time. We haven't had anything that drives people in actually getting something new because it just works and there's nothing that justifies, even in Windows 11, nothing justifies really the implementation of the minimum requirements. But that would change because this would be a new direction and a new way of thinking. So there's all sorts of ideas going out there of speculations of Windows 12. You know, could it be Windows AI? And could it be asking for a new chip on hardware? Um, that's something to think about. But whatever way it is done, wanting for sure, they seem to be hinting that Windows 12 might be much more driven by artificial intelligence. 
So that's going to be also something interesting to see. What would that add? What will this bring at a user standpoint that is so fantastic, so wonderful that everybody says, hey, I want to have that. Uh, that's something we're going to see. And could we be just having a new Windows and that's it? One thing for sure, for that new Windows 12 to be driven AI, you need to look forward, meaning um, how do you impact the legacy code? How do you you know, drive the new version of Windows uh, in the future when uh, every version of Windows is still very legacy driven with old hardware software? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.